I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a cock never change, play the game Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel I just wanted to give a really quick update on carnivore uh, I took a break over Thanksgiving, so I am officially 181 days still on carnivore, but I took four days off. Uh, so the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm back on on Monday. I was just going to take Thanksgiving off, but I didn't end up eating until two or three in the afternoon anyway. And so by the time we got home uh, and I got one of my wife's chocolate chip pumpkin muffins, I was like, okay, I, I can I can take a couple of more days off. So I did. Uh, how did it affect me? I thought I was going to be put into an insulin coma immediately. Nope. It was fine. I was fine the whole day, uh, Thursday, part of Friday. And then uh, Friday, yeah, everything just kind of flushed out of me. Um, so I like, went to the bathroom three times. And so that's, but I didn't, we didn't eat like unhealthy. Like it was, my wife made some really good, like gluten free, because she's, uh, has a gluten sensitivity now, adult onset of gluten sensitivity. Uh, so, um, yeah, gluten free mac and cheese. It was delicious. Uh, but yeah, it's just like all the carbs uh, that just went through my system tore me up. So, with that being said, I was like, okay, I'm going to get back back onto carnivore. It's not a big deal. Um, so I'm technically 181 days. 185 minus 4, 181. And uh, I feel great. I've leveled out. I, so I was down at 208, still kind of down to 208 on Thanksgiving Day. And then I have been a consistent 211. So i um, got to get serious about losing some more weight, but I feel great. And it's not about the losing the weight. I just know I've been like 185, 190 before, and that's kind of my target. And if I never get there, that's fine because I have, I have lifted weights and, and added more muscle. So what I want to do is really start just doing, uh, push ups, sit ups, um, some, some, uh, dumbbells and, you know, some other dumb stuff. No, um, I'm not going to join a gym, but a lot of body weight, and uh, dumbbells and things like that. So just to kind of like really tone up and, and do that. And I've, I've been saying I wanted to add workouts to my routine, and yet I have all intentions of getting up every morning and working out, but I just don't. So I enjoy, enjoy sleeping in my bed. I have a great bed. Um, so anyway, so that's the update. Uh, I took a break. I had some some sugar in the the. Chocolate chip pumpkin muffins were uh, also gluten free, um, and they taste amazing. But I had my little break. I'm not gonna break over Christmas, uh, but I might eat like two Christmas steaks instead of one. Uh, I've been mixing things up. Oh, I gotta tell you. So, um, so I've been I had been making these pork steaks, uh, taking a whole uh, pork shoulder butt, slicing. Slicing, slicing them, excuse me, into steaks and, and frying those up. Mwah. I got one that was marked down to like 12 bucks. Sat in the refrigerator maybe just a little too long. It didn't smell. Cut it up. Ate it. And we were over at a friend's house one night. And as we're leaving, I, had, I, I took one with me because they were eating other stuff. I ate it. By the time we got ready to go, I told my wife, I was like, babe, I don't, I feel like... Uh, like something's happening right here and it's either going to come up or go down. And if we're driving home, I hope it comes up. So, uh, but I, we got to get home quick. So I'll spare you the gruesome details, but I think the pork had, uh, it had already turned. So anyway, uh, so I've laid off the pork for a while and I got to admit steak and beef, like once I'm back into ketosis or once I can feel my body just like churning, like, like an engine almost like, especially when I wake up at night and I'm just like sweating. I'm like, Oh, like, yep, I'm back in ketosis. Like my body's just burning. Um, 
all those calories. So anyway, um, so I'm, I'm back. I'm eating today uh, for lunch. Uh, so to eat cheap on carnivore, I, gra- I grab some ground beef, uh, and I try to wait. Our uh, supermarket usually has some marked down, just a package of ground beef. And I, I add all kinds of stuff to it. So right now, today, I, I crisped up some bacon last night. I threw it in the ground beef. Uh, I've got some salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder for flavoring. Um, I know, I know, but put it in the comments. Um, so, um, and then the other day I did it kind of the same thing, minus the bacon, I did eggs, and then cut up some um, some turkey pepperonis and threw those in there. So just kind of, that's how I eat cheap on carnivore for like uh, breakfasts, breakfastesses, breakfastesses, secondsies, second lunches. Um, so for breakfast or lunch or for dinner, most of the time I'll have some eggs for breakfast and then I'll have the meat uh, for lunch and dinner. But I can make three or four pounds of that up at once and eat on that for three or four meals until I'm satiated. Until I'm satiated. <laughs> it's satiated. Sorry, that's my little, little George Bush. <laughs> Nuclear. So anyway, um, that's my update. 181 days on carnivore. And I feel great. Someone in, uh, I should, you know, probably do my research and go back and look at my last video and see what they said. But someone said it's not so much about losing weight as, as it is about body, your body maintaining um, the weight that feels the healthiest to you. So if someone who needs to, who doesn't need to lose weight, say my wife, because now she's kind of working on maybe looking into, she's seen what carnivore's done for me. She has her own, her own semi-health issues, and she's looking at maybe doing keto and feeling better. Um, haven't got her to carnivore yet, but we'll see. But, but keto is, has really helped with what's going on with her. Um, and so she doesn't need to lose weight, you know. And so, but what that does in bodies is, is it levels out and maintains what a healthy weight your body is carrying. So, um, so that's good. And, uh, and she does feel, she feels better. Um, I feel fantastic. Like there are mornings when I get up and I, I make coffee and I really think I do it because it's nostalgic. Like I've been doing it for a long time. It's nice to just sit on the sofa and drink a cup of coffee and wake up and watch the world wake up. Um, but I could, I really think I could go without coffee. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, and when I have tea, I'm like, I should drink more tea. I love tea. So anyway, um, but I'm going to start just leaning stuff out. I, I sometimes put cheese in with like my ground beef and stuff. I'm going to cut back on just the dairy aspect. And I really, I really see my trajectory with carnivore moving more towards the lion diet. Um, if I can. So ribeyes are expensive, man. Why? Come on. We need more. I need more ribeyes in my life. If you want to buy me a steak or buy me like the, the two and a half, $200, $250 worth of just like ribeye, like big chunk, and I'll cut my own ribeyes, I would, I would be blessed with that. Thank you. Like, you know, the, the whole uh, buy me a coffee, there should be a buy me a steak. I think I've said that before. Buy me a steak. Ship it to my house. Even frozen. I don't care. Um, so anyway, that's it. Uh, that's all I got. And uh, yeah, that's my, I'm 180, day 181, and I feel great. Um, interesting fact that during that little four days there, when I would fall asleep, my wife was like, yeah, you were snoring like crazy last night. Like, that's how quick it comes back, um, just the snoring and everything. And, but I'm sleeping through the night. It's fantastic. Uh, I feel like I have a ton of energy when I wake up. Um, brain fog's gone. I'm able to concentrate in meetings a lot more. And yeah, so I'm not, you know, pulling this out to doom scroll or just get a different attention fix. I can like just sit there and pay attention in meetings. Um, and, and not only meeting, but family wise, health wise, I'm able to focus on my wife and daughter better. I'm remembering things more. So just the health benefits of the carnivore diet alone 
are phenomenal. And I'm, I'm, I'm a nobody when it comes to the health benefits that carnivore has done. Y'all should go follow Dr. Chafee, uh, Dr. Kim Berry, and just listen to the people they inter- interview. People who the carnivore diet has cured some, some people's cancer. It's cured some people's type 2 diabetes and all that other stuff. And I really think that that's, that's why maybe big medicine doesn't want people to eat a lot of meat. Oh, we got to get rid of cows because, you know, cow farts is global warming. No, no, trust me. I've outfarted pretty much every cow in this world. And uh, I'm, no, I'm no cause for global warming. But um, except for on the carnivore diet, you stop farting. Somewhat. Um, but yeah, ladies, if you want your man to stop snoring and stop farting, feed him only animal products, the proper human diet. Uh, Dr. Kim Berry calls it the proper human diet. I think a lot of people, and this was, um, I'm part of one of the carnivore, um, Dante Ferrigno's carnivore group, and someone had mentioned calling it a diet, like people think of diets as short term, but the proper human diet is the carnivore diet. But how do you get rid of the word diet? So it's just the proper human, proper way to eat like a human, um, semantics, I don't know. For me, this isn't a diet. I'm not going to stop at Christmas and take a break and have cheat days or, or things like that. My wife and I are planning a vacation, and I'm already thinking about how can I eat, just eat meat, where we're going, and how we're traveling. And th- Here's the great thing about carnivore. I'm, I'm full. I'm satiated. I had three eggs this morning. I'm not really hungry for lunch right now, and it's 12. It's noontime um, right now as I, as I record this, and I'm not I'm – not, I'm not, I'm not starving. I'm not hungry. And so when you eat all those calories, just those snacks, and then the empty calories, you're continuing, you're perpetuating your hunger pangs. And on the carnivore diet, I'm, I'm never really just like, I'm starving. And I love it because I'm satiated. That's what the protein does. And so I can go, I could, I could have not eaten breakfast. I made eggs for my wife and I had, I had a maybe three or four bites, gave her the rest. Um, and so, but I could, I normally skip breakfast and by the time lunch rolls around, I'm feeling hungry. Uh, and then usually by the time dinner, and I'd like to push my dinner back, I'll eat with my, my family or I'll, I'll sit with them and then I'll maybe eat later. Um, because I like to have that on my stomach as I go to bed and, and go to sleep and helps knock me out. Um, but yeah, so anyway, well, I didn't want to make this a long one. I feel like I'm rambling, but Hey, thanks so much for listening. Day 181 and I'll do I've, I've been busy lots of stuff going on so I uh, haven't put out I had a, a student of mine say hey Mr. Chisholm you need to do some more TikToks you haven't done any TikToks lately so <clears throat> been busy been busy well uh, I don't know if you can see this on the camera but it says nobody cares work harder I gotta go work harder mm. thank you so much for watching um if you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments. If you have any comments or snide remarks, feel free to put those down below as well. Thank you so much for listening, um, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.